Everyone knows that there's a speed limit to the universe, but what big physics won't tell you is that there's an acceleration limit too. But I'm blowing the whistle. In Newtonian mechanics, if you want to accelerate a rocket ship so that it doesn't fall apart, you need to make sure that every part of the rocket is accelerating at the same rate. Now, typically, a rocket only accelerates from the back, so in fact, the rocket gets squished a little bit as it accelerates. But you could account for that if you wanted to, simply by putting engines all along the rocket, each one applying the same force. Then, the rocket will have the same length when it's accelerating as it does when it's at rest. This type of motion, where the shape is unchanging, is called a rigid body motion. But in 1909, using Einstein's special relativity, Max Born showed that this is not how our world actually works. In fact, he proved that for any rocket ship, there's a maximum possible acceleration beyond which the rocket ship will distort and possibly fall apart. To prove this, he imagined a simple rod accelerating at some fixed rate relative to some observer at rest. By solving the relativistic kinematic equations, one can find the position of the front and back ends of the rod as a function of time for that observer. The trouble is, because the front of the rod is slightly in front of the back and space and time mix in special relativity, relative to somebody riding along with the rod itself, if the front and back end of the rod accelerated at the same rate, the rod itself would look slightly longer even in the rod's rest frame. So if we want to preserve some notion of rigidity, i.e. where the rod's length is the same while accelerating as it is when it's motionless, the front end of the rod needs to accelerate less than the back end. Put another way, for some acceleration of the front end, the back end has to accelerate more, and the amount that the back end has to accelerate depends both on the acceleration of the front end and the length of the rod. So what does the math say? If you want to accelerate the front of the rod at a speed given by the square of the speed of light divided by the length of the rod, the back end would have to accelerate infinitely fast, which is obviously impossible. This gives us an upper limit to the acceleration rate. As an example, if you have a rocket that's 100 meters long, then the fastest it could ever accelerate without falling apart is 9 times 10 to the 14th meters per second squared. On the other hand, if your rocket ship was about a light year long, you couldn't even accelerate at 10 meters per second squared, which is the same acceleration we experience when falling on the Earth. So yeah, there's an upper limit on acceleration. It just depends on the size of the thing doing the accelerating.